welcome to today's session in today's session we will discuss about ecg what is ecg it is electrocardiography okay now see this is a basic ecg graph basic ecg graph in this there is one two three avr avl avf these are the limb leads uh, why limb leads the leads are put on our limbs okay and these are chest lead these are mainly placed on in front of the chest okay now see uh, now see the later video later part see limb leads 1 2 3 avr avl and avf okay why it is called limb lead see it is our patient it is our patient and it is his right hand so we can write r it is his le left hand it is l and it is his foot so f okay now it is called avr avl and avf a means augmented and v for voltage okay uh, we are making a triangle in this triangle these are the direction of electric and it is called one it is called two and the, sorry three this is two in end of an equation there is two equal to one plus three these are some basics of ecg okay now see uh, these are the limb leads now i will discuss about the chest leads what are the chest leads see uh, it is our myocardium or heart okay now this is uh, this is right ventricle and this is left ventricle now the leads are placed like this this v1 v2 these are called septal leads these are uh, along with the septum okay then v3 v4 these are uh, at the anterior wall and v5 v6 these are at lateral wall okay so these are the uh, chest leads now in ecg lead see there these are, there are some boxes okay small boxes and large boxes there this is a large box okay i will discuss here in the next next video next slide see this is a large box okay in every box there is five rows and five columns like this okay so one two three four five one two three four and five okay so this is a large box and i am calling it as a small box so one sm small box is 40 millisecond and one small box in vertical is one millivolt why see here here you see this is a large box this is a large box and this is a small box so there is five here and five here so five horizontal five vertical okay now uh, in the vertic in vertical it is represented in millivolt and in in your horizontal this is time framed as a millisecond or second millisecond it is right millisecond and here is millivolt okay so uh, see here a one small box is 40 millisecond and one small box vertical is one millivolt so one large box i have said in one large box there is five small boxes so 200 millisecond and one large box vertically is one into five so five millivolt okay i think i am clear now and normal voltage normal voltage of ecg uh, machine is 10 millivolt and the paper speed is 25 millimeter per second you uh, you should not know uh, uh, details about this okay you may not know uh, now see this lead. this is p p wave why p wave is generated due to atrial contraction why qrs is generated due to ventricular contraction and now see why now see why t is generated depolarizing depolarization of the ventricles okay so we are getting p q r s and t okay p q r s and t and i have said in the previous video that one large box is 200 millisecond horizontally so a small box is 40 millisecond 40 millisecond and one large box vertically is 5 millivolt and one small box vertically is 
1 millivolt okay 1 millivolt okay and see here this is p this is q and this is r p q r this is s s is t p is positive wave r is positive wave and p is positive and q and s is negative waves and there is a u wave uh, it is rarely seen in ecg now see what is segment and what is interval segment is from the end of a wave to beginning of a wave okay it is segment and what is what is uh, interval it is from the starting of the wave to starting of the uh, another wave okay so pr interval is this and pr segment is this okay now i have said that st segment so segment is segment is from end of an wave to starting of an wave okay and st interval here from uh, st st end of the s wave to end of the t t wave okay st segment st interval okay now it is q t interval from the starting of q to ending of q okay and this point is known as this important point is known as j point j point okay j point what is j point it is the uh, it is a point between the s and the t wave okay s and the t wave now see what we can learn from a ecg strip a diagnosis is we will do later on but what we will see in a ecg strip red rhythm axis position and rotation is also seen but it is not clinically significant so we will not discuss about that now p wave pr interval qr is complex st t wave and some special types we will see okay now red what is red it is how to calculate the red okay 1500 divided by number of small squares number of small square small squares small squares okay i have said that what are the small square and what are the large squares i have discussed and it is difficult to calculate sometimes the, uh, the number of small squares and so we use a simplified formula 300 divided by number of large squares so here rate uh, what is the rate see it is a uh, we calculate rate between the r waves this is the r waves okay so num so there is there is three small, large boxes so 300 by 3 so divided so 100 so heart rate of this patient is 100 this is a regular pattern why regular uh, the difference between the r waves in is same throughout we we basically calculate it in the lead to okay but for irregular rhythm if the rhythm is irregular irregular like this uh, one p wave r wave here one here one here one here one here now one here so yeah this is this is not constant okay how we will calculate then then we will calculate the number of r waves the number of r waves in 30 large squares 30 large squares okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that's why we will calculate up to 30 and then multiply with 6 so suppose we are getting 6 uh, we are getting 6 r waves in 30 large squares so 6 into 6 is equal to 36 36 will be the heart rate of the patient okay now we are moving on to the next slide rate uh, normal rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute if tachycardia it is more than 100 beats per minute and if bradycardia it is less than 60 beats per minute if p wave is followed by qrs wave then it is called sinus rhythm so it is p and it is qrs p qrs so it is normal sinus rhythm okay see here uh, i have said the heart rate is 100 300 by 3 so 100 so it is a uh, tachycardia it is a case of tachycardia and p is followed by qrs so it is a case of sinus tachycardia sinus tach okay sinus tachycardia now moving on to the next next slide rhythm i have said we have discussed about the red now rhythm what is rhythm 
if distance between rr is same in all leads then it is normal rhythm if rr distance not same in all leads then it is abnormal rhythm okay abnormal rhythm so i have said here the rhythm is regular okay the rr interval is same throughout you know okay if uh, if the distance is different then it will be called as arrhythmia uh, arrhythmia okay now moving on to the next slide if irregularly irregularly irregular rhythm then there is two differential diagnoses multifocal atrial tachycardia or mat and atrial fibrillation okay regularly regular what is irregularly regular see here this is regularly regular okay and this is irregularly irregular no it is not following any pattern okay so it is irregularly irregular now see here it is regular rhythm regular rhythm it is sinus tach but regular the defined system in all between the r waves and here see these r waves different this r wave interval is different this r wave is interval is different okay so it is irregular rhythm and it is regular rhythm okay next slide now we have discussed red rhythm now see axis what is axis axis is if uh, in the lead 1 and lead avm we calculate the axis okay for axis see here in lead 1 if the r wave it is r wave okay r wave is upward and in avm r wave is upward then it is normal rhythm if in the lead 1 r wave is upward and the avm is downward then it is left axis deviation the mnemonic is left leaves see uh, here see here left leaves why how it is one and this is avm so the the arrows are away from a point away from the point so left leaves okay so left axis deviation and in case of right axis it is one and it is avm so these are approaching to a point so right reaches right reaches so it is right axis deviation right axis deviation okay now see if both leads are uh, placed downward so it is extreme axis deviation extreme axis deviation okay we have discussed red rhythm axis now see we are coming to the p wave p wave is the fast wave why p wave it is a positive wave mainly and except in case of avr in case of avr avr is the mirror image of lead one so avr is not significant much more and see p wave it is a positive wave and why it is produced i have said due to atrial contraction okay now the normal the duration of is is 3 to 4 small boxes in height and width so 1 2 3 4 like this and you will put here uh, i will use a different color so like this it is a p wave it is a p wave okay abnormal when more than four small boxes right atrial hypertrophy or p pulmonale if uh, in height see in height it is a long type it is known as p pulmonale and if and if this is in width like this more than 120 millisecond i have said three to four small boxes representing 9 to 120 millisecond so if more than 120 millisecond or more than four small boxes in uh, width then it will be called left atrial hypertrophy or p mitrale like m so m for m p mitrale okay now see i have said p pulmonale and p mitrale okay now moving on to the next slide when the p wave will be absent in case of atrial fibrillation short tooth p wave like this short tooth like a tooth of the saw okay it will be seen in atrial flutter in both the above conditions atrial rate pp distance atrial rate this p pp distance will be more than 150 bits per minute different p wave morphology in every leads it representing multifocal atrial tachycardia okay inverted p wave is 
junction algorithm okay now see these are this is the qrs this is t there is no p waves this is p wave no p wave no p wave okay so this is fibrillation flutter short toothed p wave atrial flutter multifocal atrial tachycardia this p wave morphology this p wave morphology this p wave morphology is different so it is multifocal atrial tachycardia and you also see in atrial fibrillation and multifocal atrial tachycardia the uh, rate is irregularly irregular irregularly irregular rhythm okay now see treatment treatment of atrial fibrillation and flutter is rest protocol what is rest r for rate control by verapamil like calcium channel blocker and you can give metoprolol like beta blockers anticoagulant why anticoagulant in case of atrial fibrillation the heart Uh, heart beating is abnormal so there may be a chance of emboli going to the brain and there may be a chance of stroke so we will give anticoagulant not ecosprin we will give dabigatran rivaroxaban apixaban like drugs okay now rac for chemical cardioversion like uh, how you will do it by ibutilide dafatilide ibutilide okay now c rac so e for electrical cardioversion by 22 25 22-25 joule shock, okay. And in case of multifocal atrial tachycardia, it is a benign condition. We will give only verapamil. No need of DC shock, okay. We have discussed about P wave. Now we are coming to the P R interval. P R interval. What is P R interval? It is P Q R S T. So I have said it is P, and this is the P R interval. So normal duration is. P plus P R segment. I have said this is the P R segment. This is P P plus P R segment equal to P R interval. Three to five small boxes, one twenty to two hundred millisecond. If P R short end, more than less than one twenty millisecond, there is the there will be two D D mainly W P W or Wolf Parkinson White syndrome and L G L means Long Canon Levine syndrome. And P R interval prolonged more than one twenty millisecond. It is heart block. It represents heart block. Now see, it is W P W syndrome. W P W syndrome. See the P R is shortened, short P R, and these are the waves like this. It is called as delta wave. Delta wave. Why are delta wave is seen in case of W P W syndrome? We can found delta wave, and the L G L syndrome is same as this. The E C G will be same, but there will be no delta wave. No delta wave in L G L. No delta wave. Okay. Now going to the next slide. What is the treatment of WWW syndrome? Treatment of choice is radio frequency ablation. Why? There is an extra circuit, extra circuit to which uh, the uh, electrical conduction going from the atria comes into the comes into the ventricle. So we have to ablate the extra site. Okay, and you can give flaconide like drugs for prevention and IV procainamide in case of acute attack of WWW syndrome. Okay, now moving on to the next next slide. We will discuss heart block here. Heart block, first degree heart block, PR interval prolonged, but it is it will be fixed. So like this, the PR will be prolonged. PR will be prolonged, prolonged, but it will be fixed. Okay, in case of second degree heart block, second degree heart block. There is mainly two types: Mobitz one and Mobitz two. That is also a twist one type of heart block. But why? What is Mobitz one? PR is pro PR interval will be prolonged, prolonging in each lead. See, prolonging, prolonging. Then there will be a drop beat. There will be a drop beat like there will be no QRS. There will be no QRS. Okay, no QRS. Why? Then again, the PR interval will repeat. In case of second degree heart block, sorry, Mobitz Mobitz type two, PR interval is normal. Every PR interval is normal, but will be associated with a drop beat. No beat, then will be a beat. Okay, this is Mobitz two. Now third degree heart block, the PP and the RR will be not equal. Like here, you see. Here you see, the RR is different and PP is different. So heart beating. In its own manner. Okay. Now we will see the pictures. First, you get heart block. The PR is prolonged. 
period is prolonged, period is prolonged, but prolongation is fixed. There is no drop bit. In case of second degree heart block, move it's one, or it is known as Wankebeck phenomenon. Okay, PR, period is prolonging, period is prolonging. Here, it is associated with a drop bit. P is present, but absent QRS. Okay, then move it's type two. The PR interval is normal, but it is associated with associated with a drop bit. There is a another type, Mobitz, uh, in case of secondary heart block, 2 is to 1 heart block. See, P wave, 1 P wave, 1 P wave, then a QRS. So, 2 P wave and 1 QRS. 2 P wave and 1 QRS. 2 P waves and, see, here is a QRS. 2 P and 1 QRS. Okay. In case of third degree heart block, see, it is uh, the PP interval, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 300 by 4, so around 75. And R at distance, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 300 by 7, so around uh, 40, around 40 heartbeat. So, PP not equal to RR, so it is complete heart block or third degree heart block. Okay, now what is the treatment? In case of first degree heart block or mobitz 1, you can give atropine. Atropine is will stimulate the heartbeat, but in case of mobitz 2 and third degree heart block, you must do an intervention like you have to put a pacemaker. Okay, now moving on to the next slide QRS complex. QRS complex normal duration of QRS complex is 3 to 4 small boxes or 90 to 120 millisecond. The duration narrow complex in case of. PSVT, narrow complex tachycardia, first DD will be in your mind is PSVT, white complex tachycardia, more than 120, 120 millisecond will be in case of ventricular tachycardia, okay, see, it's, it is PSVT, the heart rate is more than 200 and P and T wave will be coincide, P and T is, has been coincided, okay, this is PSVT. And this is ventricular tachycardia. There is two types of ventricular tachycardia: monomorphic and polymorphic. Polymorphic is also known as torsitis depointis. These are the all P wave, all QRS wave morphology is same. So it is monomorphic ventricular tachycardia. Okay. Now see in the next video, next slide. What is the treatment? PSBT. In case of PSBT, you will first do carotid sinus massage. In case then you will give adenosine injection. Then you will give DC shock if the patient is not improving. In case of ventricular tachycardia, if the patient is unstable or BP is crashing BP, BP is very less, then you have to give DC shock. If patient is stable, then you can give amiodarone. If the patient is post myocardial infection present, post MI patient, then you can give them lignocaine. Lignocaine, okay. And deep Q wave represented old MI. M pattern in V1, V2, V3 or double pattern in V4, V5, V6 represented, represented what? Right bundle branch block. Mnemonic is marrow. Why marrow? M for M pattern in V1, V2, V3. W for uh, W pattern in V4, V5, V6. And R represented right bundle branch block. And M pattern in V4, V5, V6. W in V1, V2, V3 represented what? Left bundle branch block. So W, M, and L for left bundle branch block. Okay, we will see here. Deep Q, deep Q, deep Q, old MI, old MI. Here, W, RBB and LBB. Okay, in case of V1, there is W pattern, W pattern, and in V6, there is M pattern. So, what is this? It is left bundle branch block. If it is reversed, like this in A in V1 and W pattern in V6, it will be left right bundle branch block RBBB. Okay. Now moving on to the next slide. LVH and RVH. There is a criteria known as Garbosa criteria. In Garbosa criteria, uh, it is to calculate whether there is LVH present in a patient or not. S in V1 and R in V5, V6. If more than 35 millivolt or R only R in V5 or V6 more than 25 millivolt, it will be represented as 
LVH and in case of RVH, R in V1 will be more than 10 millivolt. We will see in diagram to understand better. See here. I'll change the color. See here. Uh, what is the duration? What is the what will be the duration? Three large boxes, so more than 15 millivolt. So I have say it in the Garbasa criteria 15 millivolt. 15. So in the Garbasa criteria, in case of RVH, it will should be in V1. R wave should be more than 10 millivolt. It is 15 millivolt. So it is representing RVH. RVH. Okay. Now see here. In case of LVH, S in V1. See S duration. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3 plus 4. Uh, 4 into 5. 20 here. And V6. Or V5. 1, 2, 3. So plus 15 so 35 millivolt so in case of Gravosa criteria it is uh, yeah, it is a case of LVH okay it is a case of LVH now see I have said this is a, a polymorphic VT polymorphic ventricular tachycardia the QRS morphology is different in all waves so it is towards the D point this treatment MGSO4 IV for stable patient and this is for unstable patient now it is a ECG of ventricular fibrillation. It is an acute condition, very very emergency condition. You should start CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. I have made a separate video uh, for CPR uh, where there I have discussed BLS and SCLS protocol. Okay, and you have to give DC shock here. DC shock here. Okay. Now QT interval. Normal duration is 300 to 400 millisecond. Increase QT in case of mainly. It is mainly drug induced. Drug induced, cisapride, astimazole, terfinidin, cat, cat drugs, CAT, and procainamide and quinidine, queen and prince. So, queen and prince have cat, so they all have the increased QT interval. Azithromycin like drugs may also uh, do this. Okay. Now, ST segment. It is very, very important. Um, <coughs> ST segment. Okay. ST elevation or depression will be uh, with respect to. The PR segment with respect to the PR segment like this. This, this is a PR segment PQRST. Now I will say it is elevated. Elevated from which? From the from the PR segment. Okay. Now ST elevation one small box in limb leads and two small boxes in chest lead. It represented what ST elevation. Same as above if ST uh, dip, will, be, will represent ST depression. If it is like this, like this, this is, this is depressed ST. ST segment is downward. If it is downward, then ST depression, and if the, if it is elevated, then ST elevation. Okay. Now see, what is ischemic heart disease? Ischemic heart. I have said here. Ischemic heart disease has mainly two parts: angina and acute coronary syndrome. Angina has two parts: stable angina and fringe middle angina. Acute coronary syndrome, what is stable angina? The patient has only uh, chest pain when uh, du during an exertion or where, uh, when he is doing an work. Okay. And fringe middle angina is due to coronary vasospasm. And stable angina? And stable angina is angina when the patient is uh, resting but there is pain. But there is drop T is negative. Drop T is negative. You should do drop T after 6 hours of the chest pain. Otherwise, it will be it will come falsely negative. Okay. And if drop T is positive, then it will be MI. MI has two types. ST elevation MI and non-ST elevation MI. Okay. Now, see. Now, we are coming to the T wave. T wave is normal duration is due to the small boxes like T wave. And 90 to 120 millisecond is duration. T inversion or elevation is seen in ischemic heart disease. Tall T, more than 10 millivolt, will represent ischemic heart disease or hyperkalemia. Tall T in all leads represent what? Hyperkalemia. Tall T in specific leads represent what? Ischemic heart disease. Okay. Now see, in the next slide, I have said ischemic heart disease. In ischemic heart disease, the T wave and ST elevation and T wave will be in specific leads. And specific leads represent specific areas of heart. 
ಇಂಪ್ ಇಪ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವ ಇಪ್ ಒನ್ ಎನ್ ಎಫಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಟಿ ಅಪ್ಲಿಪ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಎನ್ ಎಫಿ ಎಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಲೆಟ್ರಲ್ ವಲ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಟ್ರಲ್ ವಲ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಎ ವಿ ಎಫ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಲ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಲ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ವೇ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಫ್ಲೂಡ್ ಟು ದ ಪೇಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಲ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಫ್ಲೂಡ್ ಟು ದ ಪೇಸೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನೋ ಅದರ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಡಿಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಡಿಕ್ಷನ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ಒನ್ ವಿ ಟು ವಿಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಪ್ಟಲ್ ವಾಲ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಒನ್ ವಿ ಟು ಇನ್ ಸೆಪ್ಟಲ್ ವಾಲ್ ವಿ ತ್ರೀ ವಿ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ವಾಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಫೈವ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ರಲ್ ವಾಲ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ವೈರ್ ವಿ ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಟೀರಿಯೊ ಲೆಟ್ರಲ್ ವಾಲ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಆ್ಯಂಟ್ರಿ ಲೆಟ್ರಲ್ ವಾಲ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ವೈ ದ ಟಿ ವೈಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟಿ ವೈಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಟಿ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಬಿ ಟು ಬಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಸೇಮ್ ಲೆಟ್ರಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಪ್ಟಲ್ ವಾಲ್ ಸೆಪ್ಟಲ್ ಲೆಟ್ರಲ್ ವಾಲ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಓಕೆ ನಾನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ನಾವು ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ಟಮಿಕ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜೈನಾ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಮೆಟ್ರೋಪ್ರೋಲ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಟೋ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಡ್ರಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಲೋಪಿಡೋಗ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಆಟ್ರೋಪಾಸ್ಟಿನ್ ಸಬ್ಲಿಗ್ವೆಲ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಗ್ಲಿಸರಿನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸಾರ್ಬಿಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಸಾರ್ಬಿಟ್ ಮೊನೋ ನೈಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಜಿ ಟಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಸಾರ್ಬಿಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಬಿ ಡಿ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಅನದರ್ ಅಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಪಿ ಎಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆಟ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಬೇಸನ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜೈನಾ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ನಿಮೋನಿಕ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಮೋನ್ ಆ ಬಿ ಮೋನ್ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಬ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಬ್ ಬಿಟ ಬ್ಲಾಕರ್ ಎನಾಕ್ಸಪರಿನ್ ಆರ್ ಲೋ ಮೋಲೋಕ್ಯುಲ್ ವೈಟ್ ಹೆಪರಿನ್ ಮಾರ್ಫಿನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಆಸ್ಪಿರಿನ್ ನೈಟ್ರೆಟ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಮೋನ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಐ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಮರ್ಜೆನ್ಸಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಡಿಲೇಟ್ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಐ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಐ ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ಯು ಕಂಡೆಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ಯು ಕಂಡೆಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಐ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಯಾತ್ ಇಪ್ ಕ್ಯಾತ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇಪ್ ಕ್ಯಾತ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಪ್ಟೋ ಕಂಡೆಸ್ ಟು ದ ಪೇಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಲೀಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಪ್ಟೋ ಕೈಂಡೆಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಪ್ಟೋ ಕೈಂಡೆಸ್ ದೆನ್ ರೆಫರ್ ದ ಪೇಸೆಂಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾತ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಡು ದ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಐ ಪ್ರೊಸಿಡಿಯೋರ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡ್ರಗ್ಸ್ ಯಾರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಪ್ಟೋ ಎಸ್ ಮೋನಾ ಇಸ್ ದ ನಿಮೋನಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಪ್ಟೋ ಕೈಂಡೆಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಫಿನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ನೈಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಪಿರಿನ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ದ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಕ್ ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಜಿ ಹೈಪ ಹೈಪೋ ಕ್ಯಾಲಿಮಿಯ ಹೈಪೋ ಕ್ಯಾಲಿಮಿಯ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಜಿ ಪಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್
which uh, we encounter in our ward or ICU in a daily basis. Okay, thank you for.